Hey, I'm Dave with Longevity. I'm, uh, a little background on myself. I'm a uh, welding student at a local college here. Uh, I've been welding for uh, a little over 12 years now. I also work at Longevity as a uh, welding specialist. I also take some of the tech calls, so you guys might have talked to me already. Uh, we're going to be doing a little video on our new Stickball 200. So uh, this is exactly the way you're going to receive it at your house. And uh, we're going to go through it with all the components and everything you got inside. Inside it is, uh, you're going to find your unit. It's going to be surrounded by nice cushion foam padding. That uh, keeps it nice and safe inside. Obviously you got your unit. It's pretty light by the way. And then your accessory box. Let's go ahead and show the unit. Get it out of the foam. Comes pre-wired with a standard three prong, 50 amp plug. Uh, you can find these pretty much anywhere. Uh, you can hook it up to any uh, 220 outlet, only requires 30 amps. Inside your accessory box, you're going to have a 10 foot stinger, 10 foot ground clamp, and a little handheld face shield. Go over the setup of the machine as well as configuring it so you can start welding. Uh, we're going to start with the ground clamp. It's a nice spring tension copper line ground clamp utilizing a small dense connector. Simply goes into the neg negative part of the machine. You twist it in, you're good to go. Next is your stinger. Uh, this is also a small dense connector. Just put it in, twist it. Good to go. The machine's already plugged into a 220 source. Once again, this is a 220 only machine. Uh, the power switch is on the back side of the machine. Just flip it and switch it on. Up front we have two lights. We have our power light and our overheat light. Uh, if you happen to hit your duty cycle, the overheat light will come on. The machine will shut down. Uh, you have your digital display here that reads out the amperage. This machine runs from, from 30 all the way up to 200. Uh, plus or minus 2%. Uh, for setup, we're going to be using uh, 1-8-70-18 rod, uh, quarter inch plate, so I'm going to be running about 115 amps. For the demo portion of the video, uh, the Stickwell 200, we're uh, going to be using, yet again, uh, the 70-18 Lincoln Electric Rod, 1-8 in diameter. Going to be uh, running about 115 amps. Our welding booth here has been provided by Avani Environmental. We want to see how well the fume extraction system works. Our workpiece is being held down by a strong hand clamp. Uh, Go ahead and throw down a bead and see how she runs. I'm going to go ahead and power it up and uh, get, get going. Uh, for the welding here, I'm doing uh, the full technique. I'm about a 20-25 degree angle. I'm trying to get as much straight up and down as I can. Uh, it's a little hard to do with the camera in the way, but uh, everything's going well. Uh, just keep going slow enough for your wall puddle to pull. As you can see by the little demonstration that we did with the Stickwell 200, uh, burns rods pretty well. Uh, I mean, even for using cold 7018, fresh out of the can, not a kiln, starts up right away, no problems whatsoever. Uh, you know, for the cost of the machine, it's great. You can burn rods all day, especially with that 60% duty cycle. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this video. and uh, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check back uh, quite often. We're going to be doing a lot more videos nowadays. And uh, enjoy.